So now that we understand the central limit theorem for sample means, we want to apply it. So we're going to try to describe the sampling distribution of x bar, which is the sample mean, if possible from the given information. So when we say describe the sampling distribution, when we say those words, what we really mean is give the shape and the center and the spread using symbols and explanations and formulas if necessary. All right, so let's start with the shape. So the mean is 100, the standard deviation is 30, and the n sample size is 40. But we don't know anything about the shape of the original distribution, i.e. the population distribution. We don't know if it's skewed right, skewed left, nothing. Well, that's okay because our sample size is 40. And since 40 is greater than 30, that means that this data set will be normally distributed. I'm going to write out why, because n equals 40 is larger than the minimum of 30 required. Okay. All right, so now we know it's normal. That's great. Then we can figure out its center. But remember that the center is equal to the mean, which in this case was equal to 100. So there's our center. It's 100. And the standard error, not the standard deviation, standard error. Standard error is talking about the error from sample to sample to sample. And that is the standard deviation, which was 30, divided by the square root of your sample size, which is 40. And if you want a decimal approximation for that, you can grab a calculator. 30 divided by the square root of 40 will be about 4.7434. And there we go. All right, that one's great. So now this one looks very similar. It says the mean is 100, the sigma is 30, and now n is equal to 20, and we still don't know anything about the, the shape of the original distribution of x. Oh, uh, but that's a problem, because our sample size isn't large enough to guarantee, quote unquote, it's not really guaranteed, but it's a rule of thumb, um, that the distribution will be normal. And therefore, all bets are off. We don't know if the shape of this is normal, so we can't really do much of anything. There we go. So I just typed that up. So we don't know the shape. The shape is unknown because n is equal to 20 is less than 30, and the population distribution is an unknown shape. If we knew it was normal, that would be one thing, but we don't know that it's normal, and therefore 20 is not a big enough sample size for us to more or less guarantee normal. Oh, but let's look at this one for C, because it still has 100, 30, and 20, so you might think you're in trouble. Ah, but it is known that the original distribution of X was normal. Well, that's different. If you know that the original population distribution of X is normal, and that's what this is. This is an original population distribution of X is normal. Then it's normal no matter what sample size you choose. So it's normal for a sample size of 1, a sample size of 2, a sample size of 3, because that's essentially what the population distribution is if you want to think of it that way. It's a sample size of 1. All right, so let me type that up. There we go. So I said it's normal, normally distributed because it is given that the population distribution is normal, the original distribution. Therefore, it doesn't matter that our sample size is below 30. And actually, I'm going to change these wordings right here to population distribution because that's what it really is. The original is not really a great terminology for it. So the population distribution is normal. All right, and then the mean is still 100. The standard error is the standard deviation, which is 30, divided by the square root of n, which in this case is 20. So I'll take 30 and divide it by the square root of 20. And it's 6.7082. And there we have it. All right, let's look at this last example down here. So it's saying that the mean is 100, sigma is 30, n is 20, and it is known that the population distribution of x was skewed left. Mm, that's an issue right there. You not only know what it is, but you know that it's not normal. Well, that would mean that you should have a sample size that is bigger than 20. So we're in trouble again. The shape is unknown. Actually, the shape is probably skewed left. Let me put it this way. It's not normal because n equals 20 is less than 30, and the population, population distribution is known to be skewed left. So we don't have any um, ideas of guarantees of being normally distributed because our sample size is too small. All right, I'm going to stop right there on this example. 
makes it a really short video. And then I'm going to pick up with the nested example on the next page. So I'll see you back here then for that video. I'll see you then.